So what's up guys, Sam here, and we are back with a new edition of What's On My Android. And as you can see by my new home screen, minimalism is the heart and soul of my latest setup. And yet, the beauty about it is that pretty much all the functionality of my previous setup still exists. So if you're liking what you're seeing, then stick around because we're about to see what goes into a setup like this. So first up, that backdrop. When you're creating a minimalistic setup, the wallpaper can make or break the entire effect. So you need to make sure you don't get this one wrong. This background comes from the Flat Material Zuper app, but I'll put a link to this exact wallpaper in the description below so you can grab it from there as well. After that, we've got a minimalistic clock and date widget sitting pretty up top, and this is from a Zuper widget app called Fox for Zuper, which has some ridiculously pretty widgets that cover a variety of flavors, but this one is the very first one, and it's called Fox Zuper One. I've also got this set up so that when I tap on it, it opens up the weather timeline app that I mentioned in my previous What's On My Android video. Next up, we have this super sleek row of five icons, each of which are using the Min icon pack, and so we have Google Maps, Textra SMS, which is officially my new messaging app of choice, after a year or so of not using it. YouTube, which also has a swipe up feature that opens the YouTube Studio app. And then next to that, we have Gmail and finally Chrome on the far right. Below that, we have this lonely little arrow icon, which is actually a Zuper widget icon provided by the good guys over at XDA Developers. And this is set up to emulate the new Nexus or now Pixel launcher look. And so as it does on that launcher, this icon is also set to open up the app drawer, which I'll chat more about in a moment. To set this icon widget up, all you need to do is download the file, which I'll place in the description below, extract the zip to a folder, and then move the Nexus launcher draw.zw file to the Zuper widget and then templates folder. And then once you've done that, create a one by one Zuper widget on your Nova Launcher desktop and select the option to load a template from the SD card, select the Nexus Launcher Draw icon and boom, you're good to go. Along with that, I've also changed the swipe up gesture in the Nova Launcher settings to trigger the app draw, which helps add that extra fluency to the setup. Now I can hear some people asking, what about my dialer or the Play Store? Surely I don't have to go all the way into the app draw looking for them, do I? Well, looks can be deceiving because a double tap anywhere on my desktop will launch the new and improved dock setup, which features not only my dialer and the Google Play Store, but also WhatsApp, which I use on the daily and a shortcut to my timetable for work. These are all using icons from the Ycons pack, which again, I'll put a link to in the description below. So that's my main home page, super duper sleek if I do say so myself. And then moving over to the second and last page, we have the crowd favorite month calendar widget, which has become a staple in any Android setup I use. Beyond that, jumping into my app drawer, you may or may not notice that up the top are the four folders I used to have on my home screen for my previous Android setup, but now they're within a click away at the top of my app drawer. The apps are very much the same, nothing new to add about those. You can probably see that the overall icon pack I'm using is still the Clicks icon pack, but apart from that, that is pretty much my entire setup. I'm still using the Good Lock UI, which is available to any Samsung Galaxy owner that has a device running Marshmallow or later, and this just further helps to make things even more cleaner. But aside from that, thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this sleek new setup of mine. I'll be putting all the necessary links in the description below. And yes, with a new and improved setup, hopefully that means a new Nova Launcher setup video is around the corner. But other than that, I'll catch you guys later.